All right, so we are starting this uh, simulation meeting and recording, and we're going to see how this goes. This is showing the new Elgato Stream Deck plugin for Microsoft Teams. This is really cool. I want to show you it's a way to amp up the things that you're doing, take it to the next level, and make it simple and easy, less fumbling. So what we have here right now i'm going to show you we'll bring this up for the camera there is my elgato stream deck you can see i have a bunch of teams icons here i'm also going to very quickly let's share a screen where i have that up there we go so now you can see right here um, on this particular screen there is and let's get that out of there here we go there is a representation this is the software uh for the Elgato Stream Deck, what I did was I went over here and I selected this particular button, which brought up this plugins. And I did a search and I looked for Microsoft Teams and I grabbed this plugin. So you can see that's right there. And so that gives me this is by Microsoft, it's an official one. I see there's some other uh, stuff that came up. I don't know who the Vivra Motion. It says there's a sample pack. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, but I installed the Teams ones, which gave me background blur, uh, camera, mute, raise hand, like, react, applause, react, laugh, react, love, react, wow, react, record, and leave. And I uh, grabbed all those. You can see them here. It's simply a matter of uh, the beauty with uh, the um, Elgato Stream Deck, once you have this software installed, you simply grab items from the list and you drag and drop them. So I didn't give them time. I can also move a particular icon to where I'd like it. Notice it did put an API in there for me. So uh, you grab the API, the directions, I'll put the link to the directions. I'm going to stop sharing there. We're going to come back over here. And I'm going to quickly, I don't know how this is going to come out in the video, but for example, I'm going to tap background blur. That's it. Boom. I didn't have to fumble with my mouse. I didn't have to do anything else. I grabbed background blur. Now it's not grabbing all the feature sets yet, but this obviously can be added to by the Microsoft team. Looking forward to that, to getting backgrounds and other things here. Uh, but we have that. I could turn the camera off and turn the camera on. There we go. So we invoke that here. I can mute. And I'll mute off. There we go. So now I'm speaking. We can do things like thumbs up. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that comes out on the video recording, but <clears throat> here's a clap hand, laugh, the love, love, uh, the record button, which I'm already using, and then finally leave. So a whole range of things at my fingertips now for quick and easy use. <laughs> I'm still fighting a cold, so excuse me. But you can see here, it, it makes it quite simple. and It's a real added benefit, especially for those who are doing lots of these sessions. Um, no more having to grab the mouse and go to the controls and the upper part there. Put it right at people's fingertips. Highly encouraged, take a look at it. The Elgato Stream Decks are very low cost. I took this one, this is my personal one. I took it off of my personal computer, moved it over here to be able to try this and I'm in love with it. Check it out. I'm sure there'll be lots of videos by folks on there uh, about using it. I've been using it with OBS uh, for years, but now we can use it with Teams natively. With that, it's Mike Giannotti. Recording in Microsoft Teams, bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao. Oh, and stop recording.